My favorite song on the album is Man in the Mirror. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. That's, that's my favorite song. Uh, I tend to hold a feeling that no matter what you do in the world, it really has to start with you. It's my philosophy too. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and then make a change. Um, is it hard so to do? Yeah, well, people don't look at themselves honestly. They don't look at themselves and point the finger at them. It's always the other guy's fault or somebody else. You should change yourself. Um, look at yourself. Make better of yourself. You know? mm -hmm. <laughs> My purpose? Mm -hmm. Oh boy, I think um, to give in the best way I can through song and through dance and through music. I mean, I am committed to my art. I believe that all art has as its ultimate goal the union between the material and the spiritual, the human and the divine. I believe that to be the reason for the very existence of art. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel I was chosen as an instrument to uh, just give music and love and harmony to the world. I remember having the guys go back in and create more innovative, because we don't, um, this is our thing, we don't, uh, a lot of sounds on the album that are sounds from keyboards uh, that are, uh, you know, pretty much programmed into the machine. Mm -hmm. Go out and make our own sound. Mm -hmm. Hit on things, we beat on things. <laughs> so nobody can duplicate what we do. We make them with our own hands. With, with, we find things and we create things. And uh, that's the most important thing to me, to be a pioneer, be an innovator. Okay. What's going through your mind when you're dancing? Not thinking. Thinking is the biggest mistake a dancer could make. You have to feel. You become the bass, you become the fanfare, you become the clarinet and the flute and the strings and the drums. So you're almost the physical embodiment yeah, of the music. absolutely. Believe in yourself. Study the greats and become greater. No matter what, I mean, I don't care if the whole world is against you or tease you or say you're not going to make it. Believe in yourself. So no matter what. No matter what. Some of the greatest men that have made a mark on this world are treated like that. You know, you know, you're not gonna do it, you're not gonna get anywhere. They laughed at the Wright brothers, they laughed at Thomas Edison, they laughed at Walt Disney, they made jokes of Henry Ford, they said he was ignorant, he didn't have a college degree, because he dropped out of school, mm -hmm. Disney dropped out of school. They even took Ford to court to prove his intelligence. That's how really? far they went, yeah. And uh, these are men that shaped and changed our culture, our customs, the way we live, the way we do things. Most important, stay humble. You meet the humbleness that a child, like a newborn baby, has. Even though you become powerful or, or have power with, with people, with your talent, or with like you know with what Michelangelo did with sculpting, you know underneath all that. Be as humble as a child, as a baby, and as kind and giving and loving. Never become puffed up with pride. How do you write a song? How do I write a song? Well, you don't if have I a pen in your hand piano, and you don't try. What would happen? If I sat here and played some chords, whatever, and say, I'm going to write the best song I've ever written, nothing happens. Something in the heavens has to say, look, this is the time that this is going to be laid on you, and this is when I want you to have it. Now I remember when I, when I wrote Billie Jean, I was riding in my uh, car down Ventura Boulevard. All I said to myself beforehand, I want to write a song with a great bass hook, you know, and, um, um, and I just let it go, really. And then several days later, you know, <laughs> you know, the Where did that come from? <laughs> from above. So, really okay, you, you, you were singing the bass line, sing that again, and then what happened? How did you get the other instrumentation and the composition? How did it work? It, 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 see, the thing is, in, um, artists seem to get in the way of the music. Get out of the way of the music. You know, don't write the music. Let the music write itself. I think 
with any type of creation, you create what's inside of you, uh, subconsciously what influences you. I'm a fantasy fanatic, and uh, anything that took you off into another world, escapism, um, that's what I like. Um, I'm not so crazy about the reality of everything. I like a lot of fantasy, and that's what I try to create, to get away to become moved, to become moved. I think what they get from me, I get from them. I told, I've said it many times, my greatest inspiration comes from kids. Every song I write, every dance I do, all the poetry I write, is all inspired from that level of innocence, that consciousness of purity. And children have that. I see God in the face of children. And, um, Man, uh, I just love being around that, that all the time. You have something within your records that everybody just loves. Boy, I, I, I can say I just create it and uh, I'm honored that the public enjoy what I do. I couldn't uh, explain why the anatomy of why it happens. There's a formula? Not that I know of. I, it's my heart. I put my heart in it. You put your heart in it? Yeah. Uh, like Michelangelo said, you know, I know the Creator will go, but his work survives. That is why to escape death, I attempt to bind my soul to my work. That's how I feel. I give my all my work. Because I wanted to just live and just give all that I had, you know. Yeah, it has to be. I mean, what do you put into it? Well, whatever I sing, that's what I really mean. Like I'm singing a song. I don't sing it if I don't mean it.